Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. It is the 12th of March 2024. Here we are looking at all the new mods released today on Farm Simulator 22. And, and as always, all the time are going to be linked down below. But first of all, we're looking at one update. And this is the Kinsey Multi Fruit Planter by Chris S and Riley S. And this has got a game changing update. So, if I look at the description here, change log for update 1.1 capacity configurations for all planters as requested, reconfiguration of color options, added the optional of rolled or mulch status to perform multiple jobs in one pass for those seeking easier alternatives. So, you can seed, mulch, and roll. At the same time, that is a game changer. Also, there is an option for the rear hitch configuration on the 4905, so these ones here. Slot counts are all the same, 23 slots goes down to one after you purchase one. So yeah, let's look at the 4905, so obviously if you've already got this mod installed, and if the changes are not showing, my recommendation is sell the mod and then repurchase it to get all the added benefits. So yeah, addition is for additional tools. So we've got standard planter, roller, mulcher, mulching and rolling, and back down to standard planting. Um, as we go down here, got options for the rear hitches. So got low. I'll just go for none. Low high and back down to none the capacities if we look at all of these so before you had like the standard versions and then the next option had the unrealistic option in terms of capacities however it's slightly changed even with standard one so if it goes down to standards go down to our capacities you still have an option for the unrealistic capacity so if you want Standard speed at 30 miles an hour, but want the unrealistic capacities, but do want to do the 30 miles an hour. Now you have that option. So for the 3665s, either option goes up to 50,000 liters. For the 4905s, the normal version goes up to 65,000 liters, and the unrealistic version goes up to 100,000 liters. So this is what we've got here. We've got the roller and mulching addition added. And I'm curious to see, so, just with capacities, 75% is for the crop or seeds, and 25% is for the fertilizer. So, what I'm going to do is lower this, turn this on. So, yeah, we are seeding, but also we're mulching and rolling. At the same time, I can tell we've rolled because you've. This is the rolling texture. Uh, if I look at our PDA, so I've just got fertilizer state down. It has been rolled, and it has been mulched. That is a game changer, and. Let's say you don't have the two options, the rolling and mulching option. The addition of the rear hitch means you can add a roller or a mulch. I it's not so much a mulcher, but a roller of your choice. So if we look at the working whips, 80.2 meters and 12 meters. I'm not sure if I've got any installed on my mod reviews, but. Yeah, a 12.3 meter roller, so what you can do is hook this onto the back of this. Because yeah, it's a ball hitch op ball hitch option. So you can hook up rollers and that. And yeah, I'm sure you can get creative with this with this rear option. But yeah, absolute game changing. That is going to be very useful. So, that is the update to the 
Kinsey Multifruit Planter Pack by Chris S and Riley S. Next, we'll head on to our normal mods for the day. For our first new mods of the day, we've got the Coat FRC Pack. This is by JD Fent, 5.64 megabytes to download. Slot count is 6 slots each for either version you go for. And this is really a adaptive version of the base game versions of these we've got. And yeah, it says what's well, done, a new docking system funnel to adapt the thin arms. Hooks to sew hoses each 3 or 5 meters from the manure system. And yeah, basically with this mod, it's an adaptive version. It's available for all platforms. But really, the only reason why you have this mod, apart from a difference in brand in that or the modder, is if you're using the manure system, which unfortunately is a PC only mod. But anyways, you can find this under tools and sorry tanks. So yeah, this is the base game versions we've got. So it's the Grant Cot FRC 55 and 65. And if I go down to the end, exact same things. All it really does is slight difference in decoration. So sorry for tires, got Nokian standard. Continental standard, trailer standards, and back to Nokian. Decoration hoses got hoses on the right, none right and left, or just left. Color options, exact same as the base game, so you've got a green, a dark green, a yellow, and a blue version. And then you've got your standard base game color palettes. So yeah, six lots each, goes down to one afterwards. Ah uh, yeah, 55 and 65,000 here respectively. Takes manure or Surrey. Ah uh, yeah, exact same price. And you have these, obviously if you've got a manure system. But if you've got a Surrey tanker or anything like that, so you can use this to store Surrey in the field. And let's say if this is your Surrey spreader, which it ain't. But yeah, so you can refill and empty as you wish obviously a bit of a slow unloading speed but here's what it is by the way so that is the coat frc pack by jd fent next we've got the converted be6 this is by polish cap and kashtan 18 it is 8.626 megabytes to download Eight slots on console, and yeah, actually I am liking this. This is a plow net. Yes, it's a free beer plow, but it does have some unique options. So let's go and just hook this up a sec. Open my help menu and that. So yeah, let's go and back this up. In fairness, I don't tend to use these plows too often, but as you can see. Look at the back where it all links on. It's got a swivel option, so when you're plowing in that, that is neat. So let's go and unfold the plow. Lower it. And then, yeah, so let's go into its plow position. And we're plowing. And then when you get to the end of the field, Do you have options to... No, oh, no. Don't have an option to rotate said equipment. And that's for the tractor and that. Yep, that's also for the tractor, so... Let's see you get to the end of the field. Because it's got a swivel option and don't have to rotate it. Yeah, it just simply goes along with the tractor, so... Faint thing, this is gonna make plowing a bit easier if you're into these kind of plows and that, rather than like subsoil types. Uh, allow them to create fields. And yeah, so the plow just follows you as you're going along, so you can do big sweeping turns. There's no lifting, there's no flipping required, so actually that is pretty nice. 
and you can find this under stores and tools go to plows and near towards the end yeah converted up e6 no car options the only thing we've got is wheels so we've got wheels one wheels two and back to one and all that changes is the wheels on the back so have a bit of a deep just look with yeah changes like the pins and that or studs to the rims and that but apart from that nothing else so yeah that is the Cavern to B6 by Postcap and Castan 18 next we've got the Lizard AF pack this is by John GM 11.65 megabytes to download Free slot counts for each of your implements, and these are fixed small plows, so ranges from 0.9 meters work width, which we've got here with the three furrows, not furrows, furrows, and goes up to a 1.5 meter working width. So, this is designed for very small fields on very small farms or even vineyards. So, once again, like with the conversion, you'll find this under tools and plows. Go down to the end, so you got the EF3, 4 and 5. So yeah, 0 0.9, 1 1.2, 1.5 meters working width, 10 miles an hour working speed. And yeah, all the configurations are the same, so you got cleaners, no, or yes. So when you're plowing, just cleans things up as you go along. Decals, you've got standard, design 2, so AF Lizard or design one, so a different kind of AF Lizard branding. Colors, you've even got four, yellow, red, blue, and black. So let's hop into our John Deere here. Let's use the bigger one, so it's a fixed plow, so got lower, yes or no. No rotating option. So let's go and plow this. So go to a field, lower. So you've got vineyards now. It's, that's why I say it's more designed for rather than small fields. You can use these on normal fields as you wish. Oh yeah, just kick it up the dirt. All good than that. So get to the end. Obviously, there's no routine option since it's a fixed plow, so... Again, I do tend to plow like this, so... I guess you'll go like this. Yep, something like that. And then you go back down the other way. There seems to be a bit of a... Yeah, they didn't even see when you're plowing, so... Get our torch out, so... The disc is here, but it's plowing up to here, so... Do have that little bit of lenience. Similar onto the edge on the left, so yeah, not too bad. Simple plow, but hey, every mod has a need and a purpose, so yeah, actually, overall, actually, not too bad. I don't tend to use plows like these often, but I am happy with these. So, this is the Lizard AF Pack by John GM. Next, we've got the Romaco U436SH. This is by JMZ. 11 megabytes to download. 9 slot counts. And this is a cultivator, a 4 meter cultivator. 13 kilometers per hour working speed, 170 miles an hour. And it says it's a folding multifunctional cultivator. And it says its main advantage is it can be used for shallow and deep cultivation of the soil. So let's go and hook this up. So it says it's a folding cultivator. So get it hooked up. So raise and lower. And actually, like, the detail on this is actually very good. So we're going to fold it to its transport mode. And yeah, I'm actually looking at this mod in detail. 
a very good poly count, so not too bad. So yeah, first of all, before we go and test this, so this can be found under tools and cultivators right up the end. So yeah, just under 11 grand. Yeah, eight miles an hour, four meters per width, weighs 4.1 tons. So you've got lighting as an option, no or yes. So yeah, changes that on the back. Cutters, no or yes. Aye, right, so yeah, just adds this little colors bit on the furrows. Main color, hopefully you like blue because got blue, blue two, and blue three. So blue three is a light blue, blue standard. Blue 2, I'll say it's a bit more of a darker, richer blue. And actually, like, the darker, richer blue, I prefer. So, select light blue. Design card, we've got black and blue. So, that changes the roller on the back, the furrows, and the discs for the actual cultivator itself. So, you've got blue, blue 2, and blue 3. Not too bad. And yeah, nine slots go down to one slot afterwards. We'll unfold this once again. Love the hydraulics. The lighting folds up, and then yeah, simply dump it. There we go. And off to where you go. So yep, yeah, it's a four meter cultivator. But yeah. Nice details, nice function, and just overall a very good mod. And yeah, just go raises up. No other options. Nope. So yeah, that is the Romaco U436SH by JMZ. Next, we've got the Lizard RT14. This is by Caliruga Modern Design. 11.18 megabytes to download. And yeah, this is basically the Lizard version of the Chimera trailers that Kagura Modding also produces. So yeah, it's a 18,000 year trailer, costs 18 grand. Slot count, if I haven't already said, is some slots, goes down to one. Um, you can find this under tools and trailers. Head to the end. And yeah, so you've got the RT14. Weigh 7.3 tons, holds 80,000 litres, and in general, it accepts a lot of stuff, like including some of the premium expansion stuff. So, yeah, overall, not too bad. Nothing special now in terms of configuration. So, you've got we'll set up standard, standard 2, and back down to standard. And all that changes is just like thickness of the tires and the tread. So, if it's me, I'll stick with standard. Room colors got silver, special, or <laughs> that's it. So, yeah, it's a very simple trader. Nothing to shout home about, but hey, it's still a beautiful hand detail mod. And actually, 18 grand for an 18,000 year trader. That ain't too bad, like, price per litre ridge. Actually, compared to your other trade, it's actually good, so... No option, so you've got tip side back, or green door. So yeah, let's go and unload this. Ooh. Liking that clunkiness. So you're not too bad. So let's go and lure it out. And let's go and select the green door next. So your green door is selected. Oh, I do like that like animation, that clonkiness to it. I do like when my mods clonk. So that is Lizard RT40 by Calrigamon Design. Next. We've got the Lizard Evolution Pack. This is by Munako FS. 10.30 megabytes to download. 
And yeah, this is a 10.5 meter horn header with a trader. Slot count for the header itself is 3 slot screws down to 1. And the header trader itself is 4 slot screws down to 1. So yeah, you'll find the header under corn headers. And as we head to the end, yeah, Evolution MH2052. And yep, nice M ground for a 10.5 meter working width. 6 miles an hour corn and sunflower header. Weighs just under 3 tons. Color options got red. And then your base game palettes. That changes the actual linkages on the back. Bits on sides. And the actual header itself. The trader can be found under header traders. Head to the end. And yeah, trader evolution, rim colors, all your basic base game stuff. And one thing about this is, once you put the header onto said trader, even if you do it all wonky or out of shape, I should show this, it will auto correct itself. I'm guessing that's why it's got a slight higher slot count for the trader itself. So. Let's go and unfold this. So yeah, first of all, unfold header. Nice and smooth, good animations, good clunkiness. Let's go and fold that back up a sec. So yeah, let's say you want to put this header on trader. You're in a rush and go, oop. And it, yeah, auto corrects itself. And that's the thing, that's the good thing about header traders on FS22. Especially if they're designed to do like that, because as not all header trailers are created equally. So yeah, this is a corn and sunflower header. And yeah, let's harvest what we've got left <laughs> off the cornfield. So you unfold the harvester, make sure the header's unfolded. Let's go and turn this on. And we are harvesting our corn. Look at that. Simple animations, good level of details. Again, cannot fault it. That is a nice header, Matt. And yeah, definitely something I'm going to be using on my upcoming Let's Play series on. Well, I was going to say. I will play it, but we do have a new map match come out today. Hopefully, the map tour of that should be out late tonight or in the hours of tomorrow morning, maybe at the most. But yeah, a simple header and that. Again, nothing to shout out about, nothing unique in terms of crazy capacities, capacity speeds, and that, or working whips. By end date, it is a good header and that. Let's go and to lower that. And yeah, good animations and that. And then more to be said, so that is the Lizard Evolution Pack by Munaco FS. Next we'll head on to our final vehicle for the day. And she is a doozy. And for our final vehicle of the day, we've got the 1075C. This is by Oscar8599 and Simply put, this is a forestry forwarder and that, so a couple of configurations and options, we'll have a look at that. It is 26.78 megabytes to download. Slot count starts at 19, goes down to 1. And there's also two slots for the cool breaker on the back, so that is this thing here, the cool bunt, sorry. 2.8 cubic meter, so... You'll find this under Vehicles and Forestry Equipment. Head down to the end. So yeah, this is a simple forward mat, and there is a lot of configurations. And they go as following. Nokians, we've got Standard, Standard 2, Standard 3, some big chunky boys there. For our Olive, was it Olive Stars or Olive? Or the stars or whatever. So you've got the Eco Track, 
Eco Baltic, EX or Kuvac, Magnum, Eco Track 2, Baltic 2, EX2, Kuvax 2, Magnum 2, Eco Tracks 3, Eco Baltics 4, EX3, Kuvax 3, Magnum 3, Eco Track 4, Eco Evo Baltic 4, EX4, Kuvax 4, Magnum 4, Eco Tracks 5, Eco Evo Baltic 5, and there is a lot of options like Wow, that <laughs> yeah. is a ton of options for just the wheel subs alone for that. And then you've got Trailerborgs, and then back to Nolkians. Front Shield got No or Yes. And that just changes the shield at the front, so you've got a bit of a little bull bar in the way support. And if you select Yes, you don't have the a little bit onto the side there, wherever that is. So let's say we've already got two available, so let's go and leave those as it is. And at the back, we've got basic, basic with clam bunker holder, and you'll need this for the clam bunker and that. So if you want to use that, make sure you have that selected. Or you've got your basic and front grill. So yeah, changes that basic front grill. Front and rear stanchions. Is it? Yeah, stanchions, stanchions. Not sure how you pronounce that. Front, middle, and rear stanchions. And then back down to basic. Car protection, you got no or yes. And all that changes as a little. Not a headache rack, but some bars for the back and that. So when you're loading your logs up, you don't smash for the glass. Extra ink signatures, got no. Version 1, that changes those on the front. Version 2, ink signatures on the roof. And ink signatures 3. Ink signatures 3, sorry. <laughs> oh god, I can't spell and pronounce today. That is on the right side there. Windows, got half tint, full tint, or normal. Slight extra cost in that. But yeah, it starts at 485, so yeah, for a forger, a bit expensive. And for the cool breaker, you'll find this under tools and forestry equipment. Head down to the end. So yeah, clump bag, 2.8 cubic meters. You do have some color options, white, yellow, or black. And that just changes the claws themselves, so to get the this load up the cool hooker now or the cool bunker, sorry. You'll need to grab it with this or something like a something with a tension strap, so there's plenty of options for those, like with the CSD pack or the big bag winch. Apologies there, I got interrupted, so yeah. You'll need the holder enabled to have this on and yeah once you get it on it's fine so yeah for a bit of logging and that so you chop the trees down get them trimmed and then you'll load them up so what I've gone done is I've got a couple of eight centimeter logs and yeah let's go actually open our help menu because this will be needed so Let's go to our e log, so L1, so right analog stick, left and right rotates the crane itself, and up and down, so forward lowers it, and rear raises the main boom itself, R1 and right analog stick, contracts and expands the actual secondary arm. Up and down, raises and lowers that secondary arm, so you can raise that, and then press L1, lower it so you can have a bit of a longer reach, and then L1 and R1, right on the stick, left and right. Ah, now we need to enable, turn on, yeah, so yeah, to rotate the header now, 
the actual crawl now, you need to turn on the crane crawl rotation active. So you press L1, X, so turn off and on. Once it's hollow to blue, the vehicle itself, that means it's on. And now we can rotate the claw net. And actually, oh, just notice, hold L1 and R1. Lift, analog stick, raises, and there's the guard support. So you can have a bit of a firmer footing. In addition, you can fold and unfold the load space, so that folds the load space. And there we go, just undoes it, so what it does is just makes the load space bigger in that, so you've got more logs in that. Not too bad. And then press L1 and R1. And then you press X. So you can change the vehicle driving position, so that's back, and that's forward, so not too bad. And for camera options, got your main cab itself. I do have, like, on the arm itself, so let's see if I can grab these logs here. So, rotate that. Nope, we want to raise that. Bring the main boom in. Looks like they're boom. And this is why I'm not good at forestry. I'll go raise that. Go and lure that. Slightly a bit for a route. So yeah, I think something like that. Let's see if I can grab all three. Looks like I can, so go and raise that. Ah, dang it, we've been crap too, so... Oops, ooh, this is why I don't do forestry options. And I accidentally opened it, but... <coughs> obviously I'm not the best when it comes to logging, but... If you used to forward it... And that, and actually, for something like this, I haven't really looked at these too often. But yeah, good animations, good level of detail. Let's change the vehicle driving back to normal. And see that engine sex so there we go, I was looking at trying to raise this, so yeah, let's raise that up. And just hear that engine roar. And then cabinet. That is nice, like good, like good old diesel engine, so yeah. That is the 1075C by Oscar8599. That is our vehicles for today, so let's look at our place spools and production chains. So for our first place spool of the day, we're looking at a animal pen, and this is the calf cage by Just Farming. It is 1.91 megabytes to download. It is free slots for console, and once again, when it comes to these CAF mods and that, yes, it's available for all platforms, but it does confuse me quite a bit. So yeah, it's designed for calves, but you can put a cow in there. And for the best part, it does look normal. However, if a normal cow is laying down on the floor, or laying down on its side, and will be facing that way, and it'll clip through these, so... Yep, it's designed for maps like by Spring, where you can have calves. Uh, Just Farming does recommend the following mods for the proper function for this. First of all, it is the more animal enclosure possible, 64 to play several cages. So yeah, the more animal enclosure. And the enhanced animal system for the calves to be in the base game that normally. And yeah, recommends for feeding the calves, wheelbarrows, shoviv, shovels, or the buckets pack. So yeah, for the enhanced animal system and the more animal enclosure possible, um, nine, nine, yeah, they are PC only mods. So once again, 
it can work in that on console, but it's gonna be on the map like by spring where it has calves specifically. Otherwise, yeah, it does look weird when you're using normal adult cows. But nevertheless, it will still work. And yeah, so you have a look. Cost 500 pounds, euros, dollars for place down. And yeah, it does require water. Produces, you can produce milk and that, and straw for bedding. And yeah, in terms of the mixing ratios, no silage, just TMR, hay, or grass. And this can be found under construction mode, add animals, under cows. So yeah, 250 litre capacity, it says. And yeah, salt can, as I'm pretty sure I mentioned, three salts goes down to one. So yep, that is the calf cage by just farming. Next, we've got the garage 18x7. This is by 750Ti modding, 12.1 second megabytes to download, 29 slots for a console. And yep, this is a simple long shed, 80 meters by 7 meters. <coughs> I'm guessing what 18x7 means. So let's head into here, light switch just to our left, turn on or off, that turns on the lights on the outside, is there any lights for the inside? Ah, so these ones here is for the inside and that one's for the outside, not too bad, so you Open and close doors. So yeah, simple garage and that, store your equipment. And yeah, you can grab some of these objects. Even if it's a little bit glitchy at times, depending on which ones you grab. Good old trusty hammer. And let's go and grab a tractor a sec. So yeah, looking at it, it's not designed for your large, big old beastly tractors, but more designed for your smaller tractors and that, or even like pallets and bells even. But yeah, this is 30 grand and this can be found under build mode and under sheds. Um, scroll down. So yeah, garage 18 by 17. 29 slots goes down to 2. Cost 30 grand to replace. There is no colour option. And yeah, simple. Love the detail of the brickwork, as always, do love a brick and mortar shed I do. So yeah, that is the garage, 18x17x750 by by TO modding. Next, we've got the small hall by Purcell I XX, Purcell I X, Purcell X, I'm not sure how to pronounce that, I do apologise. 7.45 megabytes to download. Slot count is 9 slots, goes down to 1, cost 62 grand, and yep, yeah, it's a simple small hole, sore machines, bells, or big bags, or pallets. Doors do open quite rapidly. So, yep, yeah, nice. That is, yeah, very fast. Once again, a good old brick and mortar. Like, the level of detail is good and nice. There's no lighting, there's no other options. And this can be found under build mode and once again under sheds. So yeah, no colour options, 62 grand. Nine slots goes down to one. So yeah, apart from that, that is it. So yeah, that is the small hall by Prosilix. Next. We've got the shed. This is by Mattis. 6.04 megabytes to download, 20 slots for a console, cost 8 grand, a day maintenance of $10, and yep, it's shed for machines. Once again, not large tractors and that, but if you've got your smaller, more vintage classic equipment, then this is where you can store it. And once again, you do have like, your toolboxes and that. Grab a sweeping brush, nope. Where's a hammer? There it is, there's the old trusty hammer. Can always you can always trust on a 
hammer. So yeah, it's got a drive-through area. It's got a bit of log storage on site, so if you want to do a bit of logging in that, a bit of role playing, you can store your logs here for the winter. So yeah, that's more designs. I'll say more for maps like Silver and Forest and that. Or even like Mason County now, like maps where there's logging. And for a very small vehicle storage area, not too bad. So once again, you'll be fine under building mode and shit. And right at the end, eight grand, no color options whatsoever. Rotate its place, eight grand, and yeah, ten dollars to daily upkeep. So yeah, that is the shit by Masses. Next, we're gonna head to our productions. Before we move on, I did forget there are one more placeable mod. And these are the Country Flags for War. It's a collection of six flags. So you got Poland, Germany, Great Britain, France, USA, and Brazil. Each costs 50 euros. This is by GMZ. 0.6 megabytes to download. Three slots for console. Goes down to one. And it's going to be found under Decorations and Others. So yeah, you can place them as is, so three slots goes down to one. But really, these are designed to go on the on the edge of buildings. Fortunately, as far as I'm aware, apart from rotating, you can like raise and lower it. I'm looking on the left and no, there's no way to raise or lower it, so yes. Go in and yeah. May need a bit of tweaking around. And there we go. So yeah, that looks a lot better. Yep, no clipping through, and actually that was quite perfect. So yeah, that is the Country Flags for Wall by GMZ. Next. And yeah, I say productions, technically this is defined, uh, well, categories as container, but this is the Automatic Water for Animals and Greenhouse by Joga Dim. 0.45 megabytes to download. It is three slots for a console, goes down to one. This can be found under site extensions and on read as the following description. No more worrying about water, progress has come and now has water pipes on your farm. And yep, yeah, saw this pump near stables or greenhouses and you no longer have to worry about water. As this pump will be connected to existing water pipes on your farm and to the animals drinking throughout the troughs and greenhouses. Cost five grand, day maintenance of five dollars. And there is a note that says, doing away the automatic water in consoles. I should start again. The only way to automate war in consoles without using scripts is with a site extension already filled with water. That said, this piping and war pump is nothing more than the extension of a site already containing enough water for your animals and greenhouses. But be careful when sawing it, it must be carefully not to place in the wrong location so you don't have to install it right away as previously stated. It's a extension of a silo or a filled with water. So if there's a need to sell, the work can be sold. This is a standard function game where suddenly a silo of all the materials inside will also be sold. And yeah, it says take care of that, avoid earning too much money in your bank balance, so I'm guessing if we sell the water, it holds one million liters. And yeah, looking at that, if you want cheap money very quickly, what is that? So yeah, I actually had to look at my screen here and looking at that and what's that? Less than a billion, billion liters of water. I get 168 mil. So yeah, anyway, so it says, yeah, side extension, so for something like this, you would have something like a greenhouse and that. There are silos that can store water. Obviously you've got your normal supplementary water tanks for adding capacity to the greenhouses. So yeah, a billion litres 
cost just five grand. And you can place as many or as few as you want. So yeah, let's go and just place a bunch of these down. <laughs> there we go. Get a bit carried away there. And head to our greenhouses, yep. Twelve billion liters of water, so we've got water for days. And yep, that's that. So yeah, just a slight extension, so that's it. No more war issues, so if you want to make quick money, get this and just sell the water. Or yeah, just place this down and no need to worry about greenhouses ever again with topping up with the water. Actually, that I can use on my Court Farm series, so yeah, but not too bad. So yeah, as mentioned, this must be placed near a animal stable or a greenhouse, but besides from that, that is the automatic water for animals and greenhouse by Joga Dim. Next, we are looking at our production chains now, so first of all, this is the wood shipping container by Superfly1842. It is 0.41 megabytes to download, and simply put, it's a wood distributor. It is 5 slots on console, and so yeah, if you got wood in that, and you want to transport it to your production chains, but you don't fancy using like a Ford or that, or load it all onto whatever, like a lorry and that, you can just place this down, accept your wood here, It'll disappear, go into here, and it'll distribute to whatever production's available. So, yeah, it's pretty much instantly as is, yeah, 252 cycles per month. So, that means it can transfer 252,000 litres of logs per month, and that is a lot of logs. And actually, this is a second version of what we've got on FS22 because. As part of the mobile and utilities pack by Yoast, there is an option for like a little itty bitty teeny tiny wood container that does the same function but holds something like 200,000 year logs. But yeah, 252,000 years instantly in a month. Not too shabby. And yeah, apart from that, yeah, no for real shout out about. However, this is fine under under silos and at the end. So yeah, fight just for five hundred bucks now. And yeah, it is a production chain because you can store it, sell it, or distribute it. Well class is more of as a production chain officially, but if you just want to store your logs here, fine you can do that, store logs for winter and that. And a bit of role playing aspect, you know, take logs out and that over the winter and that. I could do so much more now. So yeah, that is the wood shipping container by Superfly 1842. Next, for our penultimate model of the day, we've got the small corn dryer by JMZ. It is four slots for console, goes down to one, 3.99 megabytes to download. Cost tw just under 22 grand, 20 bucks to maintain a month. And the capacities are 15,000 years for your corn, and for your dried corn it is 12,900. And yeah, if we turn that on now, it's 10 12, and that is instantly done in what? Three minutes, three minutes of. Now. And that's it. Boom! Instantly. And why? Because it's got a 50,000 to 12,900 ratio. But you can do this 960 times a month. And yeah, so your input is here, just unload it. And yeah, output is here. Let's grab a chart for a second. So yeah, just grabbing our John Deere set, so 
we have a look here at our corn. So yeah, we have options to unload the corn itself, or take out the dry corn. So yeah, this is just a corn dryer line on some ant spice to the bouquet. And yeah, for the dry corn, let's look at prices. So for corn on average, we're looking at around 11.40, 11.50. For drying it, do you get a price increase? Let's have a look here. So go down here. We're looking at our dry corn. The value goes up by what another 700 bu bucks per thousand liter. So what's that about a 75% increase? So yeah, peak price 24.50. Compared to corn, let's look at our peak prices. And yeah, for corn, its peak price is 1400. So yeah, we get about on average an extra thousand pounds per thousand liters. Yes, you lose a bit of corn in that as you're drying it, as you do. But yeah, that is a bargain. So yeah, if you want to do dry corn on the cheap, use this. And this can be found under build mode and under productions, under factories. And yeah, for £21,000, that is nice. And there, let's see if there's a dedicated cell point. And there it is. So you've got the restaurant. Fruit and salt goes down to one. And then you got your fast food production. Also you got your farmer's market. And yeah, does this change the prices? So for corn itself, no. But for the dry corn, there like a price increase because with some cell points there is a slight change in the XML files. And yeah, when you compare it to, yeah, they sell everything containers by... Is it Yost or Schultz Modding? I can't remember, but yeah. Yep, exact same thing, so... No XML changes, there are designated cell points. That will take other materials. And yeah, no changes in prices. Yeah, I did just whack them down just haphazardly. Mainly because I forgot to check for those, but... It means that it's a small core dryer by GMZ. And actually, let's turn this off. That is loud. So yeah, let's head to our final production for the day. And this is the Yogurt Factory by Neumark... Neumark mod. 15.92 megabytes to download. 16 slots for consoles and there is two production chains and one cell point and that cell point is a beauty so yeah first of all we've got the H cheese factory so you can get your milk that converts into H cheese a 10 to 9 ratio 9600 cycles per month Capacities are 270,000 liters. And there is a difference in prices. So your aged cheese can go for 6 grand or even up to 10 grand if you're using the market. And yeah, that does spoil the sell point. But yeah, the market store sell point. I'm just looking at other stuff now. So yeah, typically, yeah, 6 to 8 grand. And for your normal cheese and that, it's only five grand in that. And yeah, I was looking at other materials and that for the market. Yeah, really. For your base game stuff, the market, we'll just look at it in a sec, is the same price, but for your other items like your yogurts and aged cheese, there is a bit more of a premium price. But yeah, so the H cheese factory can find under productions and under factories. Go down to the end. 
Ah, yeah. Yogurt factory. So, yeah, got the Ace Cheese factory. Six, 16 slots goes down to one. And, yeah, that's just produced basically a cheese, and that's basically a dairy. 23 grand, so, yeah, not too bad. And, yeah, let's look at the yogurt factory. So, yeah, incoming materials is strawberries, chocolate, grapes, and milk. But you can produce so much items, so your tipping point is here. Your trigger that is here for the production tab, so... Yeah, you can produce yogurt, strawberry, grape, or chocolate yogurt. Both similar with the others, it's 270,000 liter capacity for everything. And yeah, I'm just looking at the materials now, I let this run for a couple of months. And yeah, you produce so much yogurt in that. Again, yeah, 960 cycles a month. Looking at ratios, a 10 to 9 for yogurt, 10 to 15 for the strawberry yogurt. Same for the grapes and same for the cho chocolate. Also, you can produce butter and normal cheese as you wish. And uh, yeah, there is a nice animation, so you churn in the butter, or churn in the milk. Yeah, got some little yogurts here and that. And so I'm a little look around. There's no actually there is a light I can find here. So that actually turns the lights on and off in here. Now for over here. The light switch is here. So yeah, overall not too bad. Got a little door coming out of here. And I can spawn eight pallets at a time. And yeah, these pallets weighs yeah, 1.1 tons and that for the yogurt and that. And yeah, it's got that sort of rustic vibe, that sort of very suitable to maps like Zilonka and that. That would be very good at home. <coughs> but finally, let's have a look at the markets also. So yeah, you'll find some of the productions and sell points. 16 slots goes down to 1, and yeah, takes a lot of your productions and that, so, actually just restart that, so yeah, it will take honey, raisins, cereals, cakes, tomatoes, and theirs, grape juice, flour and that, your clothes, your eggs and that, milk, butter and grapes, so, we have a selected sell point. And if you're doing yogurts, it offers a premium price, it does. Off oh, yeah, if we have a look at the prices, so what was it again? Yeah, about 6100 on average. But if you're doing aged cheese and that, yeah, it does offer a premium price. <coughs> and I'm pretty sure I've looked around that is the only inflation. So if you're doing aged cheese and that, get this market stall and that and sell, yeah, for 10 grand. Wow, that is a lot of money. And that is the last model of the day. So yeah, that is the Yogurt Factory by Neumog Mod. I do apologize if I'm butchering that. And yeah, that's our over mods for today. And as always, hope you find this helpful and informative in some way, shape or form. If so, Smash that button, feel free to down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to yet, then please consider. But for us to do, hope you have a nice day. But for now, this is me from our Envoy Extreme, and I'll see you all very soon.